Hey everyone, it's Megamon here, and today we are back with more Pikmin. Yeah, this time we're venturing into the Forest of Hope. Woo! And there's no reason to go back to the impact site for the second day because there's nothing more we can do there until we get some more content in the Forest of Hope first. You know, strangely enough, in this game, Forest of Hope is probably my favorite area in terms of looks and just overall... Morale. I think... Morale? I don't think that's the correct term. I don't know. <laughs> it, uh, it's condensed, but also spread out. Yeah, and, it's a good size. So. Yeah, And also, there are plenty of ways to use shortcuts. So All right, so nice. my dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on the surface of this strange plant makes me somewhat uneasy, so I should call the Pikmin out of their onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. Alright, so see those weird thing? Gotta go underneath it, press A, and I would recommend point out all your red Pikmin. Because you're gonna need them all. Oh my god, wait, I can actually start talking about things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, as you can see, there are things everywhere. Oh yeah, and there's... Peliposies, and there is grass, and there are walls, which, by the way, what is that wall made out of? Apparently brambles. Brambles? Yeah, you know, like, uh, like rose vines or whatever. Huh. Or thorny vines, I mean. Well, you'll be seeing those gates almost everywhere. You can actually see one over there out in the distance. Yep. That, those are the kind of gates we destroyed earlier in the impact site. So, yeah, there are going to be a lot of those, and all you really, really will need are Pikmin. Oh, by this the way. This wall is... Well, right now it's indestructible, so... But we'll get a resource on this, hopefully on this day, to take okay. it out, so... Throw them at the wall. Oh, by the way, having the... This, this is another part of the game, because until you actually get some walls down, you'll be kind of stuck doing nothing, at least when you have a few Pikmin. Yeah. Uh, walls uh, take... Uh, in this game, walls take uh, the longest amount of time. It's kind of... They're tedious to break down. There's also bridges, and you can actually see one in the far distance where my cursor is. Well, also, they're not as... There's not as much as them, and they're... Well... They're easier for the Pikmin to finish in the walls, so... Mm -hmm. But they tend to be a lot glitchier. That's just that we had an audio cut <laughs> yeah just a minor interruption thank god trust me the things that we've got i've gone through in recording oh uh, yeah sure to think about it <laughs> i have nightmares about it every day you actually do <laughs> no i don't that's like the most minimal that the nightmare is something trying to kill me i don't think this is gonna kill me Anyways, Hopefully these not. things are bullborms. Yeah, these strange new enemies. I wouldn't recommend finding the big ones yet. They're, they take a lot of Pikmin to defeat. So. Oh wait, no, they're, they're dwarf bullborms. Sorry about that. Yeah, the small ones I killed are the dwarf kind. And the you big can kill ones, them in one hit if you land properly. The big ones are called spotty bullworms. Yeah. You know, it's kind of funny because I used to know all the Pikmin enemies' names, but now I just sort of glaze over. <laughs> yeah, same here. I know most of their names, but not all of them. I tend to forget some of them, especially in the sequel to this game. Well, which so many of them. Yeah, and the names tend to get kind of weird. Oh god. Oh, oh no. by the way, that's Nectar. It's no. a reason. No! Oh, An intriguing discovery. A local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink this delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. So their leaves on their heads turn into flowers, and they can go faster. Yeah. So, pretty uh, So, one... You know, I could make the obvious drug thing, but... um. There's really no point in doing that. It's kind of gratuitous. Oh, yeah, and just keep the flower Pikmin doing what he was doing. Uh, when you get more flower Pikmin, you want to throw them at the grass so the uh, the leaf Pikmin don't pick them all up, and yeah. then you get the leaf Pikmin to nectar it up. And by the way, one Pikmin, as you just saw there, can drink an entire thing of nectar, which is extremely annoying. And by the way, I don't think Pikmin need to eat since they're uh, plant animal hybrids, and I think they eat by uh, photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. There's also another phase that uh, wasn't mentioned in that little tutorial. Um, they have a bud stage. Which is the in between. So yeah. if you leave them in the ground, they'll become buds. Or if they if or if they get shaken up or attacked, uh, they will resort to bud, bud mode. Like if they, if this uh, this body bulb orb shake them off, they would have probably resorted to bud. Oh, and by the way, uh, to kill those dwarf bulb orbs, I recommend having I mean, at least forty Pikmin. Um, 
uh, shaking, uh, go up to them, like, from behind, and then shaking the nunchuck around while swarming, and then, um, oh, it's the external field dynamo. Alright, so that's basically his generator, I guess. Yep. But, it, this strategy is called bum rushing. <laughs> yeah. Which is only used in this game. Yeah. Much to my disappointment. <laughs> I don't like it too much because sometimes, uh, if you're not careful, sometimes the Bulwark will eat the Pikmin anyways, but it's usually effective at killing them almost instantly. Yeah. Oh, and sorry if our audio is, like, going in and out. It's just that I, uh, we're recording at my house, and I don't have as good of a setup for my micro for the microphone. Because it's normally, like, in between my legs, so I, uh, so it's close to my mouth while I'm talking. Alright, there's our second part. You can slightly see it. Uh, after all, it is the external fuel dynamo. This should light things up. Internal. No more candles for me. I've recovered two candles? out of 30 <laughs> ship parts. If I could just find three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Why the hell is he keeping candles in there? <laughs> I don't know. Why do he have candles on him anyways? Well, I'm a little you... curious about that. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes you get lonely and I kind of need a candle just to remind me of home. Where there's candles everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But, oh wait, are, are you going to go for the other chip part up there? Yeah, I'm going to try and multitask right now. Alright. Multitasking in this game with the Pikmin squads can be kind of difficult, by the way. Yeah. Well, uh, it is, but again, this place, it's built around only having one person or so in this, uh, in these levels, so... Yeah. There's, there might be a lot of things to do and they might be spread out, but it shouldn't be too difficult to handle. In the later Pikmin games, um, basically, uh, you'll have more than one, you know, Pikmin leader to work with rather than just a Walmart. Yep. Alright, come on guys, grow for me, grow. Grow, grow, grow. I never liked how the camera kind of tends to zoom in when you start plucking Pikmin. It's the just annoying. Pikmin are always staring at you for some reason. Yeah, I think they also walk in unison with you. Yep. Actually, if you uh, use the military hut thing, um, if you have the sorry, if you have the military hut thing, then they'll walk in like perfect rows. That's true. <laughs> Which it's is weird. amazing. It's weird like that. They walk in unison with uh, Olimar, I think. Yeah. All right. I'll go and throw some more guys up here. Um, actually, uh, I've actually had to beat this guy with 30 Pikmin once, uh, yeah. because I, I just forgot how many I threw up there. And, well, it didn't go so well. I mean, I ended up winning, but... Yeah. I was so scared. I was like, oh god, oh god, oh god. I would not recommend resorting to trying to throw Pikmin, um, at Bulb Orbs. It usually doesn't work, even if you have a lot of, like, red Pikmin. And to be perfectly honest, these are just actually probably the most difficult enemies. Oh, by the way, it's uh, midday, so we only have a few minutes left. I don't know why the day passes so quickly. Yeah, it feels a little disjointed. What the? It's like... No, don't worry. This is not what happened to me in our last day. It glitched out. Run. My Pikmin weren't... Oh, God. Doing it properly. Why? <laughs> I hate bum rushing, by the way. I'm kind of glad they don't use it again, because... Uh, it just is a dysfunctional strategy. You might want to get more Pikmin. You're right about that. One thing I hate about this game is that all the ship parts are much are really heavy, so it takes a lot of Pikmin to carry them back. Oh god, we only have 34 Pikmin. <laughs> oh boy, farming away for later. Yeah. Well then. <laughs> Again, I don't like bum rushing because it seems like it's random chance sometimes. Well, okay, here's some certain things if you're doing bum rushing correctly. You got uh, for one thing, you definitely want to shake the Wiimote like crazy. That also, you want to make sure that none of the Pikmin are on the sides, because if it wakes up before the initial attack, then, well, you're screwed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very. Alright. Oh, boy. There's one thing I can go do while we're doing that. We'll be able to get another thing. Another Pikmin species. There it is. New onion. It looks brown, but no, it's yellow. <laughs> and <laughs> the background's so pixelated. And thus we have discovered yellow. Well, actually, no, we haven't. Yellow Pikmin. 
Back crap. We got and stuff to do. There we go. All right, so this Pikmin, unlike the red Pikmin, which have long noses, this guy has no nose and large ears. And he's yellow. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests that this one has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. Uh, in what others might uh, it be different than what? In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? I must be sure to observe it closely. I can hold a Pikmin for a moment with A, then swap it for another by pressing B. So that now, tactic is actually very useful in this game. Yeah, also, so how can he? Uh, I've always wondered. I I don't I can't tell if the models are skinny or something because I don't think the pick. Uh, oh, they look. Just, they don't look lighter at all. They really don't. In fact, the ears make them look heavier. <laughs> the ears somehow uh, make them more aerodynamic. That makes no sense. It really doesn't. <laughs> Well, we got two parts so far. Uh, sure. And this is why we don't record at my house. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, really awkward moment right there. That looks... Oh, yeah. And a defining characteristic of the yellow Pikmin is that they can carry these strange things called bomb rocks. Which is something that I I, I kind of wish we had in real life. <laughs> oh, and by the way, uh, red Pikmin can't carry these things. The yellow Pikmin nope. have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow Pikmin. But just, uh, what are these strange glowing stones? Brightly uh, glowing cracks cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicate that there's tremendous power locked away within them. This merits further research. These respawn, by the way. Yeah. Also, if you throw the bomb rock well, at, at other least bomb rocks, they'll explode, but it won't, won't do anything, from my experience. Also, there's a certain rhythm and timing you have to do otherwise that oh, happens. Oh, crap. Yeah, one of my Pikmin just got killed. The glowing rocks the yellow Pikmin picked up. To I think we can skip that. <laughs> seem to be, yeah, they're basically explosive. And if you're not careful, uh, the yellow Pikmin can get killed. Yep. So. Well, this is, well, this has actually been an interesting experience for me so far because from all the times I've seen uh, you play, <laughs> this is the most fantastic. Fantastic. It will yeah. make it interesting. Although it might make the Let's Play longer, which I'm not actually looking forward to. <laughs> because, mm. yeah, well, making the the game has... Okay, so you, you as you uh, was introduced before, you have 30 days to beat this game. Yeah, but you can get, like, um... So it's, like, a part per day, but you can do it quicker than that. So the longer the game is, the more hard drive space it takes up. <laughs> Yeah. I am recording this in 1080. You're only seeing it in 720, but I am recording this 1080 and downsizing it to 720 for uh, upload purposes, because otherwise it would take me a millennia to get it up in 1080. Trust me, I've tried it before. Alright. Oh, thank you. I successfully bum-rushed him. Sometimes I swear the Pikmin just glitch went out, out when I'm trying to fight those guys. Okay, it's time to grind Pikmin, because we only have 42. Yeah, perhaps. Oh, sheer grubs. Female sheer grubs. They yeah. don't kill you, but they do. Uh, they do uh, interrupt a bridge building. Yeah, which we'll get into later. So, which does male sheer not. grubs? They're uh, they're purple, and you know they're more aggressive and will actually eat your Pikmin. So never. Oh my God! Motion control. Stop. Stop. I'm trying to stop stop those stupid Pikmin. Well, okay. they're not being stupid actually. Yeah, but I didn't want them to carry back that stuff. I wanted them to attack these enemies. Okay, so for so now you see another part up there, which I think we need 20, 25, 30? Yeah, 20, I believe. Yeah, 20. You know, that thing doesn't look like it should require 20. It looks like it should require, like, maybe 10. At the most. It can't be that compact. Yeah, I doubt. Now just collect, just, now just collect all those guys along the way. Or not. Oh, okay. Might as well. They give you one Pikmin each, so... We can grind yellows later. The reds are what we really need right now. Yeah, I know. And 10 for the bulb. 
I'm trying to wait for the yells to get out of the way. I'm gonna start working on the other one. Darn it. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've been playing a lot of uh, Pikmin 3, and the controls in that game are a lot more intuitive. I to, you know what was strange? Because in our actual first take of this, you didn't seem to have much of a problem. I actually did. I was playing kind of poorly, yeah. I thought. I think I'm playing a little bit better now. Because I at least got the um, second part, so. Meh. If anything bad happens, I'm hijacking this, by the way. <laughs> okay, Mr. Selfish. Alright, so we don't have too much time in uh, the day left. And now we actually there actually is a major threat, because you will lose a lot of Pikmin if you're not careful. Yeah, if the Pikmin are either not with you or not at the base, they'll be left behind at night, and they will be killed by the nocturnal predators. Mm -hmm. Also, all enemies go away at night after the next day. Yeah, so these corpses won't be here tomorrow. I, 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 guess, I guess the other end, everyone else just eats them. Probably. Which is kind of disturbing, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, at least I got those back in time. Yep. Third part. <laughs> Alright. Now, this is one of the most useful parts because it gives you a map to look at so you can know how to navigate the areas. Whimsical radar. This important part can detect the locations of the other missing parts. The radar will be added to my monitor, which can, which I can press uh, plus to view. Up or down on the D-pad zooms in and out. This will surely help me in my search for the remaining parts. I have now recovered 4 out of 30 parts. If I can just find one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Wonderful. And now we got this 10-second uh, time to uh, countdown. You might want to... never mind. Uh, tomorrow all the wrong rocks will respawn. I correct. Or do they respawn differently? Or not? Uh, they will respawn. Don't you worry. Uh, three of the Pikmin are gonna be... gone, I think. Yeah, probably yeah, right. Alright, so, they're all loading up back <sighs> into their onions. Well, <laughs> that was an interesting day. Yeah, alright. So, the yellow Pikmin are gonna return to their onion, and the, all the red Pikmin have returned. I don't know if those, uh, those other reds have gotten back yet, though. Nope, I don't think they did. Yeah, Since probably... there was only three of them carrying it. And they, I think, uh, I think one was flower. I couldn't remember. Maybe. Oh well. Oh, only one got left behind. No, not necessarily. Yeah, but I don't know. It, it represents like... one getting eaten. It could have been more. There. Well, I mean, if it was just three, it would probably show three. Yep. Okay. Two days since impact. It, it appears that many of my ship parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How could, would that improve my chances? Then I would only have to press... Oh, he's being redundant, because he actually <laughs> collected that part. Yet there appears to be many host, uh, hostile lifeforms here. If I am attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it, and press A to make suit repairs. So this is for future reference. If an enemy damages Olimar, his uh, health meter will go down a little bit, and you can just restore it by going to the ship. Luckily enough. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corn left uh, hand corner of the screen mm. all right then all right so our red population went up but went down a little bit and the yellow one went up so we lost 31 pikmin today good god and the four behind not great but oh well well we have other days don't worry <laughs> yeah we got like three parts in that day so that's pretty good all right then so Next time we'll be back in the Forest of Hope and hopefully be grinding some more Pikmin, so we'll see you guys next time.